Okay, okay, we all know what week it is. It's Dallas week. But I need y'all to be more confident than you really are. First of all, we're going to talk about Howie Roseman trade deadline. He made a, he made a move, and y'all just forget about that, okay? But here's what I'm going to say. What position would you pick the Dallas Cowboys? Single position. Would you pick the Dallas Cowboys over the Philadelphia Eagles? Let's talk about it, y'all. Yo, that. The safety. The Andre Swift. Boy, can he wiggle. That boy is nice. Age is zero. That boy nice. You're, you're, yo, that, man. You know who it is. You know what it is. Your boy, Philly Fresh. It can't ate the general here reporting for duty. Listen, if you haven't done it, make sure you hit that sub button that's right down there. There, 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 there it go. Yes, and also, it is a bell next to it that lets you know when I put a ball this flavor notification gang. Yo, that gang. Yo, that. What's going on? Please, please hit the like button for your boy. However, the algorithm works. More people get to see me. More people get to see the merch. And yes, the merch is on fire. Shout out to all of y'all for copping up. Shout out to all of y'all for getting your shirts for the free giveaway y'all know what we do that every friday uh fresh fact first fresh fact is just straight the video the philadelphia eagles are better at every position than the dallas cowboys now i don't know what nod you would give them so let's go through the uh, through the through, through the through the positions pause i didn't want to say it but i i didn't know how to get around it Let's go through them. So we're going to start with the offense. Let's start with probably one of the best positions in the whole NFL period, which is the offensive line of the Philadelphia Eagles. Are the Dallas Cowboys better than that? Mm, I think not. The lie detector determines that was a lie. Okay. Running back. I think our running back room is, is better than a, a Troy Palmer. I think they're – and I can't wait. I can't wait till DeAndre Swift – Scores a touchdown, and I hope because Skip Bellis is hating, talking about some Gibbs scare him, but Slay don't scare him. Well, you should be scared. Well, you should be scared, especially. And I didn't even bring this up about the offensive line. Sua Opeta out there is a difference. It is a difference. Now, when Cam Jurgens come back, hopefully he come back for the Dallas game. When he come back, you're going to see more of a running game. Be afraid, then Skip Bellis. Be afraid, then Dallas Cowboy fans. Be afraid, then Dallas players. Because I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you, get back to that run game, that's when y'all get scared. But that's when everybody starts scratching their heads saying Jalen Hurts is not having a good year. But we're going to keep going on. Let's go. So, uh, definitely running back. I got to pick us. Tight end. Definitely got to pick us. Dallas got us the top five tight end in the game. Who y'all got? Schwartz over there? Or whatever his name is. Church. Church. I don't know. I don't know him. I know he's not top five. He's not top five in the game. And the only reason the numbers don't look like that is because of the team that's around him. And A.J. Brown is just on another level. And we're going to get to that. All right. Then, where we want to go next on the offense? Oh, I guess we got to go wide receiver. Just was talking about that. A.J. Brown, come on now. A.J. Brown is better than C.D. Lamb. I think Devontae Smith would be a number. I still think it's number one A and number one B. I do. I still think you got skinny Batman, swole Batman, whatever you want to call him. One A and one B. A.J. Brown's just on a tear right now. He's just on another level, but you got to understand that he's been in the game longer. He got years on Devontae Smith, and he's coming into his own. Devontae Smith will get, get, in, and get in that zone. It might not even be this year, but to have him as your 1A, uh, 1B option, come on now, definitely got to get a nod over Brandon Cooks, um, uh, C.D. Lamb, and and Gallup, it don't matter. It, it don't matter who else we line up. And I do think Julio. I do think Julio Jones being here definitely heightens us even more. People want to act like bring, bringing Julio in here. Oh, he's just oh, he's this and that. He can still snatch the ball out of the sky. We seen that against Washington. All right. So basically, the last position we gonna talk about the quarterback. The quarterback. So Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurst versus Dak Prescott. If you ask any GM, and they're gonna have to they're gonna have to answer this anonymous, obviously. But if you ask all 32 GMs, who would they rather have? I guarantee about 30 of them will say Jalen Hurts. So to me, the nod gotta go to Jalen Hurst. Jalen Hurst has been to an NFC championship. Jalen Hurst has been to a Super Bowl. Yes, we lost, but still got there. He's been out of the second round. 
Can you say that for Dak Prescott? And this is not hating, these are facts. A lot of people want to pull up numbers and they want to talk this and that and percentage and yada, yada, yada. Win, win, win. That's what it's about. All those numbers go out of the window when you host an NFC champion or you 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 host a Super Bowl trophy. Now, he hasn't got to the Super Bowl trophy, but he has hosted an NFC uh, a, a champ, champion. People act like that, that that doesn't mean anything to host that uh, trophy. He did that. He did that in his, in his third year. Come on, man. All right. So let's go to the defense. Defensive line, I definitely give us the edge. I understand they got Michael Parsons. I do. I I would say him and Hassan Reddick right there, I would probably give Mikey the edge. I probably will. I'm not going to lie to you. I seen him at Penn State. You already know I'm a Penn State fan. So I've been following this guy or his whole collegiate career and also – because he's the ops now. But what I'm going to say is, when you talk about Hassan Reddick and Josh Sweat, those combinations you don't have over there in Dallas. You don't have two dynamic um, edge rushers because both of them got five and a half sacks right now. Both of them. So when you look at it, I think, matter of fact, I think Hassan got six and a half now. Yeah, I think Hassan got six and a half now. So you got Hassan with uh, Reddick with six and a half and Josh Sweat with five and a half. Come on now, that's 12 tackles just, just from that position. Defensive tackle, we don't even need to talk. We don't even need to talk. Y'all tried to draft when I don't need, is he on the field? Is, is, is that guy even on the field? I don't, where's he at? Where's he at? So to me, definitely defensive tackle. Linebackers, here's what I'm going to say. I don't know who is hurt or who is not, but I do know y'all have injury. The Dallas Cowboys have injuries at the linebacker position. So I'm not sure, but I do think our linebackers coming into rotation now. I think N'Kobe Dean is getting a little better. He's getting into a groove. He's getting healthy. Um, cutting ham, need, need, he didn't play that well. I'm not going to lie. He didn't play that well last week, but he has had uh, very, very solid games. And Nicholas Morrow, who time now is being, we already know why, because of him being drafted, but his time is being depleted a little bit, but he can still ball. So that's up in the air, the linebacker uh, position. So I, I'm going to be fair, and I'm going to give Dallas the nudge on a linebacker position. I'm, 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 I'm going to do that. But then when you talk about safety, I think we definitely have the edge, especially after getting Kevin Byard, who I think is figuring out, obviously, this, um, this defense and just kind of played on the fly uh, last week. And that's why I think that we played so much cover, too, and we couldn't mix it up how we wanted to because of, because of a guy in Kevin Byard. You didn't want him getting too lost and... I understand he's a veteran, but still, you don't want him getting too lost. So they played a lot of simple things and let things come to them. And a lot of the slants was, was working, and it, and it kept working for them. Now, I would have fixed that afterwards, but still, I understand. All right. Then uh, we got safety. Then we got cornerback. I mean, y'all used losing Diggs. I still don't – I think Diggs is a nice player. I don't think he's a pawn, one of the elites. Yes, he does get – um, he does get turnovers. I ain't even going to lie to you because he's, he's a ball hawk. To me, he's more of a safety than me because you can burn him out of his shoes. The double moves is like when we had Jalen Mills. He can get got on them double moves like that. So to me, I would definitely, 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 even with an agent, uh, Bradbury and, and Slay, I would definitely give us the edge. So, I mean, to me, y'all comment below. Let me know. Am I tripping? I get an edge damn near to everything except for linebacker. From quarterback on down. That's really all I got. Just a quick video to let y'all know. And we're going to talk more about this. Because we're going to do do's and don'ts. But it's Dallas week. I had to give y'all what it is. The real truth. The real facts. The fresh facts. Y'all already know. Stay Philly. Stay fresh, y'all. You that. <laughs>